Hello, so in this video we're going to look at a bridge. Now a bridge is one of my favourite exercises because I think it targets quite a lot of areas eh, from your knee to your hip um, to your lower back. So let's go over the, the sort of principles of it because there's lots of, of different variations. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off um, ideally on a fairly hard surface but, but you can use your bed if you find getting on and off the floor is, is, is too difficult. Now, with this, I'm going to bring my feet quite close in towards me and I'm going to make sure throughout the whole thing that my arms aren't doing very much. So you certainly don't want to be sort of pushing them down into the bed. You want to keep them nice and relaxed. Some people, to resist the temptation, put their hands on their, on their chest like so. Now, with this, what you're going to try and do is, first of all, is tilt your pelvis. So what I'm doing here is with my lower back, I'm just going to push my lower back down into the floor. So already you can feel quite a lot of muscle activity in your lower back, in your lower tummy, even, even into your glutes, into your buttocks, you might feel that. And sometimes that's where people start, okay? And we just get used to that nice movement. But really, to perform a bridge, what you're going to try and do is from that position there, you're just going to try and, and push up now. From here, if your feet are quite close in towards you, you'll feel this very much more in your buttocks and that's ideally where you want to feel it. You know, you want your feet to be nice and loose, your toes to be nice and loose, and you don't want your hamstrings to be working too much in this position, but really feel it into your glutes. And often what you'll do is you'll feel your lower back a little bit and you'll feel quite a big stretch down in front of your pelvis and your, and your hips. Now, what I would say to you about this is, Sometimes back, people with back pain quite like it, other back pain doesn't like it. So I would say to you that if you have got a bit of back pain, as you come up, try not to thrust right up. Because if you thrust right up, you'll tend to sort of put a wee bit more pressure on your lower back. So if you are going to do it, just work into that nice and, and gradually. Now, ideally with this, what you're trying to do is try and keep your pelvis level. You'll often find that the weaker one sort of tilts off to the side. It's perhaps not doing as much as the other side is. So again, just be aware of that and try and make sure if you can, that everything is sort of symmetrically working. Great. Now, if you want to make that a wee bit harder, what you can do is you can start to take more weight through one leg than the other. Um, so say for example my leg knee this you um, was the one that I wanted to work harder what I would do is I would think about taking more weight through this leg and using my other one for just a wee bit of support so at the moment here that's quite a bit harder but most of the work is happening here so there's lots of ways you can play around with it if you did want your hamstrings to be working a wee bit more what you would do is you would take your feet out a wee bit further away from you and again same principle try and tuck your bottom in underneath, relaxed hands, relaxed feet, and up you come. And there I can feel my hamstrings doing a little bit more. So it depends what area you're trying to target. If you do have a band, an elastic band like this, uh, this can also help to get your glute heels work a wee bit harder. So any sort of resistance band, if you have it, what you're going to do is you would just sort of put that around your your thighs here and then again from here you're just going to see my idea and actually often people feel when they have this band that absolutely makes it sometimes a wee bit easier to to try and get up so lots and lots of things there to think about but well worth persevering with because as i say it's a really useful exercise so hopefully you'll find that thank you for watching